Welcome to this short video about additional support. In this video we'll talk about what reasonable adjustments include, how we assess the requests, and how to submit an additional support request via your MyACCA account, step by step. ACCA is committed to ensuring that no student is disadvantaged in their exams because of special educational needs, disability, or temporary injury. In order to ensure this, we make additional support arrangements to enable all students to access our exams. Requests for additional support will be considered in accordance with the UK Equality Act 2010. This requires reasonable adjustments to be made, where a disabled person, or a person who has suffered accidental injury or acute illness, whether short or long term, would be at a substantial disadvantage in taking an exam, compared to someone who does not have the same condition. An example would be additional exam time, which would be a reasonable adjustment for a candidate with dyslexia. An adjustment may not be considered reasonable, if it involves unreasonable costs, timeframes, or affects the security or integrity of the exam. In most cases it won't be reasonable for adjustments to be made to assessment criteria, or the learning outcomes we wish to assess, as to do so would undermine exam integrity. Such an example would be the provision of a paper-based exam in place of a computer-based exam, where students are required to demonstrate skills in the use of technology, as it would undermine the integrity of the assessment. To help all students show their competence in the areas being assessed in our exams, each request will be considered on an individual basis by our experienced team. ACCA also works with a number of external agencies to ensure our awareness and assessment capability is relevant and up-to-date, allowing us to make adjustments that are appropriate and work in the best interests of our students. Let's take a look at how you can submit an additional support request. First, log into your MyACCA account. On the left side of your dashboard, go to My Qualification. Then scroll down, all the way down to help and support. From there, click on additional support. That will navigate you to the additional support section of the ACCA website. After reading the additional information, scroll down to how to apply. There, you will find a link to the additional support landing page, where you can start a new request by clicking on add new. Additional support requests must be submitted to ACCA by the standard entry closing date, although there are some cases where a request is needed earlier. For details on any specific conditions, you can refer to our additional support section of our website. Requests received after the deadline may not be able to be processed in time for you to sit your exam at that session. Requests relating to unforeseen injury or acute illness should be submitted as soon as possible. If you advised us of any specific needs during your initial registration, we should already have a record of your requirements. Once you have opened the new additional support request form, you should fill in the two mandatory fields, as indicated by the asterisks. Start with typing your request, and your reasons for it. You should include as much information about your request as possible, including the impact it has on you when taking your exam. The character limit on this field is 4000 characters. Next, clicking on Select Files allows you to upload documents to support your request as evidence, with a maximum size of 2 MB, in a PDF or JPEG format. Please note that we do not accept Word documents, as those are editable. You should always include documentary evidence when requesting additional support, and the uploaded documents need to be in English. After you click on Submit, this is the confirmation message that you will see, with your request listed as new. And this is an example of the acknowledgement email you will receive within a few minutes. After your request has been processed, we will contact you via email with the decision. In today's video, we talked about additional support, what reasonable adjustments include, how we assess the requests, and how to submit an additional support request via my ACCA portal. Thank you for watching this video.